Stop wasting money on ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. Why would we struggle with three subscriptions when one tool really beats them all? If I had to keep just one AI platform these days, it would actually be perplexity. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the seven features that make every other AI chat tool that you might be using now look obsolete. And once you see this, you'll never use those old tools the same way again. But look, I get the frustration. One tool is great for writing, another for coding, another for research, another for tasks and strategy. And before you know it, you're paying 60 bucks or more a month just to stay productive. But even then, you're constantly switching tabs and tools and context, copy and pasting from this one to that one, and second guessing which model to use. Well, that frustration ends today. Perplexity isn't just another AI chat tool. It's a full stack research and productivity tool. It doesn't lock you into one model, it lets you choose from the best model from OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, and more. Or you just let Perplexity decide itself which tool and model it's gonna use for the job. And really that's kind of just the beginning from deep web and academic research to automated business planning and tasks to AI agents that literally build apps for you. Perplexity has features that the others just don't even come close to offering. And stay till the end, I'm gonna share a bonus tip for you that really separates Perplexity from every other AI tool I've ever used. Okay, so here in Perplexity, I am using the Pro model, which is 20 bucks a month, $200 a year, so it's about $16 if you're paying annually. Okay, here inside Perplexity Pro, we're gonna talk about sources in a minute, but I wanna talk about models. So you're able to choose the model that you use for a particular task. Sonar is Perplexity's research model. It's the one we used in a previous video uh, with creating an AI agent. Sonar is all about research, but you can see Sonnet 4, Thinking, Opus 4.1, Gemini, Gemini 2.5, GPT-5, O3, O3 Pro, and Grok 4, right? So this is $100 worth of tools if, you, if you're buying these separate, or 20 bucks one time to use Perplexity. I don't know how they're doing this, but it's really amazing. And so what I do most of the time is just use the best here and let Perplexity figure out which model is best for the job. And so we'll type in a prompt here. So I'm saying create a thorough research paper on AI hallucinations, why they happen and how to prevent them in your daily AI usage. So you see it went out real quick to the internet, found a bunch of relevant sources here and is coming back with the answers. And so if you want to dive into the exact source material of any of these, you can, you can just click on any of these items uh, and you can see it has the sources here too, right? So if you wanna click into this, you can open this in a new tab and read this article. Okay, so regular AI chat usage, but with the best model uh, out there. And if you wanna know which model it used, you just come down here and click the little model button. Uh, it's the same as you would use down here in the selector. And it, in this case, it used the pro search model. Okay, so if you're like, hey, which model was that? I wanna switch it and do it again using a specified model that I, I select. You can do that. Okay, so choosing the model or letting Perplexity choose the model for you that's best for the task is great, but sometimes you wanna really narrow in on the source that information comes from. Let's say you wanna research a product that you wanna buy. Often I won't go to the web anymore, I choose Reddit as the place I wanna search. Well, Perplexity can do that for you too. Come over here to the Sources tab, and you see web is enabled by default, but you also have options for academic. Let's say you wanna research academic or medical papers. Let's say you wanna research SEC filings and financial reports, you can do that. Really great for like stock analyst and investment uh, advisors. But for me, I wanna use social search only. I'm gonna turn web search off, and I'm gonna search for vacuum cleaners for pet hair because my dog Charlie uh, <laughs> sheds a lot, and I wanna have a vacuum cleaner that's cordless for me to pick up his pet hair. What is the best cordless vacuum for pet hair? And so what it's doing here is it's searching Reddit. Reddit is the only social source right now, but if I had to bet in the future, Perplexity will add more social sources as it's able to partner with social media networks. Okay, uh, and so you can see here, it's giving the research uh, and the results based on uh, my criteria and information that it's getting from Reddit in this case. And so the Dyson vacuum is winning out. Okay, so that's picking the source that you're searching information from to give you maybe a more narrow consolidated answer for a question you might ask. And so while choosing the model and the source for the information that you're getting from Perplexity is good, sometimes you want like just more horsepower behind this thing that you're searching for. And so we've been in the regular search mode 
so far, we're gonna go into research mode and do deep research on a topic. It's a business topic. I'm gonna to ask it to validate a business idea that I have, go to a bunch of different sources, compile information, gather it together, and give me a consolidated response that I can then go do something with. And so I'm asking, how has AI affected SaaS valuations in the secondary market? This is for businesses between 1 million and 25 million who are acquired by private equity. So you can see here, it's gonna take three minutes to gather the sources and, and generate a report. And if you're like, hey, that's fine, I didn't really wanna do this, you can just skip this and it will go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna turn on notifications in my browser so that I'm notified when this is done. This is something I do in Manus a lot because Manus will literally run for 20 minutes sometimes doing deep, or they call it wide research in Manus. I think there's a lot of crossover, by the way, between Manus and Perplexity at this pro level. And so, uh, you know, Manus is owned by a Chinese company. If you're like, hey, I don't want my data going there, that's fine, like, you know, whatever, no judgment. Maybe Perplexity is a better fit for you for an agentic type of tool that is a little more powerful than a ChatGPT or Claude, and you wanna consolidate uh, some of your eggs in one basket that just isn't Manus. Okay, so what's going on here? So we've used these few search queries, so it's just done a better job of asking a question than I have. It's turned my language into really good uh, you know, search queries. It's done this, let's see, three, four, five, six times already. Okay, that's valuable. In each of these, it's gotten Let's see, 14 sources from this one, nine sources from this one, 10 more sources from this one. Now it has all this data. It's putting a Python script together to organize and analyze the data that it's gotten. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's analyzing comprehensive data on how AI in, in, uh, integration influences SAS valuations. Cool. And now it's cr creating a comparative bar chart illustrating valuation multiples across different AI integration levels in SaaS companies. Okay, so, so it's gone and got a whole bunch of information. It's used Python, which is a programming language, to organize this a little bit. Now it's creating charts and graphs and a report, probably, for me to understand more about like what's really going on here so that I can make an informed decision about do I want to start a SaaS company? Do I wanna sell my SaaS company? Do I wanna do something else? How is AI affecting the business landscape here? Which like, if you followed some of the AI news lately, like it's all about nano banana and these crazy images that we're creating. Well, like that, you know, we're business people here, right? <laughs> like we're business people. This channel is for like AI and business and you don't wanna be creating like pink kittens in the snow, right? You wanna be doing real business things. And this is where instead of you hiring a consultant to go do a bunch of research, you can put in a thoughtful prompt like this into a tool like Perplexity. It goes away, does the research, comes back, tells you where the data is coming from, and gives you really concise, broad information on the question that you asked so you can take and make more informed decisions. Cool. This is the answer. The integration of AI has fundamentally reshaped SaaS valuations. Cool. Not great <laughs> if you're a SaaS business. Okay. So let's see. Uh, AI native. Uh, multiples have gone up. Traditional are lower, obviously. Private equity is focused. 59% of private equity funds now view AI as one of the key drivers. Cool, not surprising. Uh, propriety AI integrations are a most significant differentiator. Strategic buyers are paying one to two, one and a half to two time premiums over private equity. Lower middle market SaaS companies, one to 25 million, are seeing all cash acquisitions from two to four times ARR. Cool. Risks for non-AI SaaS companies. Ooh, this is probably the most relevant to most of us. Make, so if you don't have AI integration, you face significant headwinds. Okay, so like, I'm not gonna read this whole report for you, but like one prompt, three lines maybe, gives me really good information. And then, you know, the cool thing about perplexity is if I wanna go and kind of go down the rabbit hole from here, you can, so you could ask it something like, what sectors within SaaS are seeing the most growth in the AI era? And so I'm not gonna let this finish, but it's gonna do the same thing again. So once you got the first bit of information here, you can go down the rabbit hole further within this thread. And it's gonna do the same kind of thing to give you more information from the first prompt and result that it gave you. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about within Perplexity is labs. This is where you can build applications and kind of run AI agents right from the browser without having to do any code. So what we're gonna do here is have this prompt build an integrated financial model on the PNL I've just uploaded, and I wanna be able to forecast based off of this. Cool, so we'll upload this dummy PNL that I created, 
and just hit go. So it's reading the file, it's analyzing what I've just uploaded, and it's creating a plan for how it's gonna go forth. Uh, it's asking me to download the Comet browser, and I'm definitely gonna do a video about Comet, which is Perplexity's uh, internet browser. Pretty powerful and has some amazing features. Uh, I'm gonna do a video about that in the future, so if you wanna catch that, please subscribe so you get that as soon as it comes out. Okay, cool. So it has the uh, structure of the PNL, understand what's going on, uh, and it has a, some questions for me here. Uh, so let's answer these questions. Which variables need manual adjustment? That's fine. Want to create a web app and prefer to static fork and generate here. Okay, so it wanted to do just like a static thing, but I was like, no, I want it to, <laughs> I want you to build me a tool. Like, uh, I know that something like Manus could do this. So uh, again, thinking, building some tools with Python, uh, it's gonna build a web application and it is going to let me play with this. Okay, here's the code that it's creating and it's probably gonna make me put this into the browser, which is like not as good as something like Manus would do where, or even uh, Claude, I think where I can play with this in the browser. Okay, so, uh, you know, I gotta say, this is like a little bit of a shortcoming compared to some other tools, but, uh, but this is what Labs is all about. The next place I really love perplexity is the Discover area. So Discover is all about news. And so within news, you have three kind of areas. One is for you. Uh, I've been using perplexity for a long time, so it knows kind of what I like. Typically, this is on technology, AI, and tech news. Uh, so that's cool. You can say, hey, I wanna broaden my horizons a little bit and look at, top news across the world. That's usually really bad news like military and, and kind of war and politics. I typically don't wanna look at that stuff. Then say you can go into different things like art and culture and say, hey, what's going on uh, in the world? Uh, oh, Notre Dame reopens Twin Towers after six year restoration. Interesting, okay, cool. Uh, and also like, hey, where I'm located, this is the weather, this is what the market's doing. These are trending stocks. So discover really cool places to see what's new in the world without going to main news sources that might just depress you and put you in a bad mood. So this is how I avoid places like CNN and Fox News, whichever side of that argument you're on, you don't have to deal with either of them. You can just come here and get curated news uh, that has sources so you can say, hey, I wanna show exactly where this news is coming from. So uh, Discover is the place for news. I use it, especially on my phone, every day. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about within Perplexity is image generation. So we can create images directly in here using a lot of the best models that things like ChatGPT and Gemini have under the hood and just do it right from Perplexity. So create an image of a pink kitten playing in the snow with a bouncy red ball. Uh, and so it'll be interesting to see in this case, because I did not specify the model, which model it used. We'll probably repeat this a couple of times with other models to see uh, how it performs. Whoa, pretty cool. That is exactly what I wanted. Okay, cool. Let's see, uh, what does it say? Oh, it doesn't say what model that it chose. Hmm, that's interesting. Cool, that's pretty darn good. And so let's say we could say from here, okay, Let's add some text to it and see how that handles it. Uh, it did pretty good. I mean, it, it messed up the quotes a little bit, but I like the drop shadow here and the white, like that all looks good. So, you know, if you're wanting to like create a meme, this is a pretty cool way to do it. Again, you don't need to pay for other tools. It's just got everything in one place under the hood. And so you might be wondering, you'd be like, Craig, that's cool, but like, I can't live without my GPTs or my Claude projects. And I used to think the same thing, but Perplexity has an answer for that, and it is spaces. So spaces are places to do specified work. That's kind of how I think about a GPT or a gem or a Claude project is, hey, I want to do a very specific thing. I want to have a system prompt. I want to have examples. I want to have extra context so I can come in and do a very specific thing that I do often in my business really, really well, okay? So you could come in here and say, hey, in technology act as a YC startup advisor. Pretty cool. So you'd say, um, how should I approach fundraising? I don't have any traction yet. Cool, fair enough question. And it gives you an answer. And it gives you an answer, not just regular old kind of AI slop, but within the context of this space or this project or this GPT, right? Uh, and this is not created uh, from us, but we don't really know what's under the hood with that one necessarily. So let's create our own space to see what this is like. Cool, so we'll just come over here and say, create our own space. Craig's email writer, and what's the description? And then I would add in here a system prompt. And so let's just go over to Claude and copy the system prompt that I have in my Claude project right now. 
Craig's email writer. Uh, and so over here in the project, we have this system prompt. And so we'll put that in here. Okay, and so we can add sources too. So you might say, hey, I wanna upload a bunch of files. You can upload those uh, from links like YouTube videos or local files. So I'm not gonna upload all these files now, but you would wanna have several of these for a uh, space in this case, or a project or a GPT to work really well. So spaces are gonna work a little more like a project or a gem rather than a GPT, which I view GPTs as a little more strict. But at this point, if you're like, hey man, perplexity couldn't really do this one thing, but I gotta have my GPTs or my projects, voila, there you go. Just rebuild your GPTs or projects in perplexity. And you can say, hey, I want it to use web research or I want it to use social or academic research. And I always want it to use Claude Sonnet 4 because that's what I got from Claude and I want the results to be the same. There you go. Okay, and so maybe one of the biggest features for me with AI is automating things. And this is where perplexity stands out, really I think above everyone except for maybe Grok where it can automate tasks for you. So if you come to your account section and go to tasks, you can have it do things on a regular basis. So what do you wanna automate? I wanna get tech insights, analyze the week's most significant tech developments, MI and ML, major tech breakthrough. I want it to happen daily at eight o'clock. I don't ever want it to expire. I wanna get notified, not on email, <laughs> uh, just in the app. And I want this to pull the best model because I trust perplexity to do its best job. But if you found in the long term, like, hey, it's just not working great, maybe you come down here and use, I would probably either use Grok or Sonar. Sonar is the model from perplexity that's all about research, but I'm gonna leave it as best for now. And there you go. And so you don't ever have to think about this anymore. It's gonna be done for you on a schedule that you've specified and it's gonna to come to you in the place where you want it. So tasks, total game changer for me not available in something like ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini currently, and is a big deal. So, okay, so I told you there was gonna be a bonus at the end. Actually, I have two bonuses for you. Uh, one is connectors. So to make AI smart, you can connect it with tools that you're already using in other places in your business, Gmail, Google Drive, uh, Notion, GitHub, pretty amazing, right? Uh, but the coolest thing maybe about perplexity is we talked about voice mode before, Voice mode works really well on mobile, on all of the platforms, but doesn't often work in the browser for places like ChatGPT and Claude. But you can use voice mode here in Perplexity built in automatically. What is the latest in AI news for today? So if you hadn't set up your task yet to run the AI news of the day for you, you could come in and just dictate this. And if you wanna ask it a follow-up question, you can and you just talk into the computer instead of having to type. And so while perplexity may be the one tool that can replace a lot of what you're doing with AI, I still think there's niche tools that you have to know about in order to be successful going into 2026 and to see the nine tools that I think we all need to be fluent with to win in 2026, check out this video over here.